Absolutely incredible. Joining us now, our new modern day uh, head football coach, uh, Frank McManus, and his prize, his prize cornerback, Zabian Brown. Fellas, how did last night's victory feel, first of all, coach, to you? Because there was, there was a lot of tension in the air when we were down there. You know, it was, uh, it was fun. It was a good win. Um, anytime you beat a Corona Centennial mm -hmm. team, it's a good win. Uh, I mean, we're, we moved on to the next game, but again, get that first one under my belt made it feel good. So I'm like I said, we're ready to kind of move on to the Bingham, Utah next. But when I saw you yesterday, you were cool, calm, and collected. If you were nervous, it didn't show. Yeah, I think, like I said, we talked yesterday, uh, most of my anxiety, if any, was about the pregame, the uh, postgame, the mm -hmm. halftime things. When it comes to the being on the field, I really felt comfortable. We've got a great coaching staff. I've got great players like Xavier next to me. Um, it makes things a lot easier when you're on the field. But again, all those, those transitions from uh, pre-game mm -hmm. to post-game uh, and halftime, those kind of things are the ones that give me the most anxiety at the moment. Xavier, congratulations on last night. Let's talk just a little bit about how you felt coming up with that big victory because you played a huge role in that. Uh, yeah, it was good. It was uh, competitive and get Coach Frank his first W meant a lot. I mean, you seemed rather cool, calm, and collected last night, and that's the way you play on the field too, isn't it? It, it seems like nothing really seems to rattle you or get under your skin. Uh, yeah, we was in there every place, so I know I just had pretty much one job to do. Now, Xavier, you have committed to Alabama. What do you like about the Crimson Tide there? Uh, really just the opportunity presents. Mm -hmm. And that opportunity that's presented to you is to play more on a national scale? Uh, yeah, and to get to the end goal, mm -hmm. to the league. Coach, he's, he's, he's really one of your leaders from this year's team. And he leads with his actions more so than anything else. Yeah, Zapian's not only a great football player, but a great kid on and off the field. Uh, I've known him probably since fifth or sixth grade, so I'm really tight with his family. Um, he's been a great kid his whole life. Uh, he knows exactly what the expectations were coming into Modern Day, uh, as his mom did. And he's really kind of embodied what we've been trying to, to do at Modern Day. I think Alabama's a great uh, destination point for them. I think there's a lot of similarities in what we what we do and what they do as far as uh, the competitive edge. I mean, he's going against guys that are going to be in the Division One level, uh, hopefully get to the next level mm -hmm. after that uh, on a daily on a daily to day basis. I and mean, we've had several uh, big time colleges come out. They enjoy watching our practices and watching these guys compete because it reminds them of their programs, whether it's Ohio State, uh, Alabama, some of those big schools. So he's just a guy that um, that's why he was chosen as a team captain, because of the way he uh, presents himself to his teammates and, and the faculty at, at Modern Day. Um, I think it's just going to carry him on through life. He's cool, calm, and collected now, but on the field, they tell me he raises H E double L. And you know what that is. See, that'll draw that's yeah. why I want it. Go ahead. Absolutely. Um, I just heard, I hear that cool, calm, and collected. I keep on hearing that. And I think that uh, it's a saying that said that most coaches, uh, most uh, teams takes the, mimics the, the characteristic of the coach. So do you do you definitely give that a lot of credit to your head coach of being able to be calm and collected in, a, in the most chaos of atmospheres and be able to just play man to man, like you said, and not have to worry about the outside factors? Do you think that? that plays a lot of part in your head coach? Uh, absolutely. And before, you know, he was a head coach, he was my DB coach at Modern Day. So, and before that, he was my youth coach. So I know what, kind of what his expectations are and for sure. Do you know how important you are and you are to this, to the, to the team and the success last night? Because a lot of times they look to you, your teammates look to you for leadership. And sometimes you don't have to say anything to them. I'm told that you just kind of look at them and that can get the message across. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, being a senior and really just kind of help keep everybody on the same page and calm. Mm -hmm. That's always a good thing, man, to have a quarterback on defense and a person that's been with you for a long period of time and knows the things that you want and knows the mm -hmm. things that, that uh, that's expected of others that's also on, on the yeah. field as well with him. He knows, the, he knows the nuances of the defense. He's been with us like it. Like I said, he's been on some of the youth seven-on-seven seven stuff with us since he's been a fifth grader. So he knows the defense inside and out. Some of our calls, he's always played. He's a four-year starter for me. Uh, he's a guy that understands what it takes uh, through the grind of the season. Mm -hmm. He's really kind of mentors guys too. So like I said, a lot of collaboration, especially when I was the defensive back coach, there's a lot of collaboration that happens mm -hmm. with, with the guys in the team. So 
the secondary especially how are we going to play when they're stacked how are we going to do it when they're in a bunch situation you know what's their what do they like to do who do we want to double like i said how do we want to play things it's a process of of getting to know how we want to do things and he's been a, a big piece of that like i said he's had a four-year journey that that hopefully <laughs> will end successfully but like i said i'm happy where he's going but i'm going to miss him when he's gone gentlemen thanks so much for being here and congratulations last night that is for sure All right, Mike.